You know, when shit hits the fan, you get sad. That ends up with Ben and Jerry's in front of the TV or Netflix or whatever, which leads to, you know, it's okay to be sad, but not always it leads to action. When you get mad when things don't work, you want to do something. Like, let's try to make it work or let's try to, you know, you know, the hell with this, let's try to do something else. But you're looking for a way forward. I think it relates to like a growth mindset or taking ownership, which is what I think it's all about. When you take life as a customer, if you got fired or something didn't work out, you feel like it was done to you. So you're the victim. And owner mindset would say, if these clients, if those people are people I want to serve, I need to understand what is not working right in the way I serve them. They are in the center, not me. For me, getting mad, especially if the alternative is getting sad, I prefer getting mad in some situations. And I, I would say that's a good thing because uh, from what I've noticed, even in my few years of, of life experience, only living for 23 years, uh, I understand that it's good sometimes to have negative motivators along with the positive motivators. I'll say some of the times when I've gotten mad, it definitely pushed me to get up out of bed or stop wasting time or whatever else I was doing and really dig deep and push into whatever it was that I was working on. And that's when I got some of the best results in my life. And so I can definitely see value in that and I can relate. And I would agree that, you know, you it's okay to be sad, but at the same time, you can't let that be the end. There has to be some sort of Because when action. you think like a business unit, if you're sad and really there was, you know, an injustice which was done to you, maybe you're right, but the market doesn't care. <laughs> so, you know, 